One of Italy's best-known circus man trainers is in a has serious been condition in a Horror unfolding less than 24 hours ago. Pictures make your heart stop. Millions saw the results of a tiger attack Next time I hear to that tiger attack on the stairs. Planet Earth, home to mankind and nearly 8.7 million species of animals. 80,000 tigers used to span the continent of Southeast Asia. Today, less than 4,000 tigers remain in the wild. The rest have either been driven to extinction or worse, captive to torturous owners. Of the nine original species of tigers, only six are left. How long until they're all gone? One conservation site in Lincolnshire rescued two tigers from a German circus in 2014, Julia and Tango. This is uh, Tango, he's the older one, he's a fantastic guy. And just next door is eight-year-old Julia. They've had a hard life, we know that they're frightened of brooms, they're frightened of sticks, if we bring things in they're quite frightened so um, we can only hazard a guess as to their true history. Julia is one of the last 2,000 Bengal tigers left in the wild. Nearly 5,000 miles away from her natural home she resides here at Woodside Wildlife Centre. The training of the big cats toward performance is no easy task. The trainer must impose his will upon the tigers knowing full well that even in captivity, they have by no means lost their natural predatory instincts. Taught to fear the trainers, circus tigers are often beaten or starved if they are disobedient. They will perform tricks like this only once the pain and terror of punishment have surpassed their instinctual fear. Though Julia and Tango were two of the lucky few to be rescued, these practices are still happening around the world today. Across the pond in North America, this exploitation of private ownership of tigers is found more apparent than ever before. 2020's hit docuseries Tiger King follows the harsh reality that goes on at these private zoos. Similar to the abuse in the circus, Joe Exotic tormented his tigers both mentally and physically. It goes on. Ow, son of a bitch! God damn you! They don't want to walk, pop him in the ass and make him walk. Okay? Stop. Worryingly, out of 5,000 tigers in the US, only 6% of them live in zoos, meaning the vast majority endure a life under private ownership. It's at these unregulated private zoos that they are tortured, where profit outweighs protection. Julia has fortunately been able to get out of a life like this. Her experience at Woodside means she can always be well protected and properly looked after. They're going to be eating at least or approximately six kilograms of meat each a day. It's probably about 50 beef burgers each per day. We've got to give them things to do. We don't just want them to come out here and think, that's it. They've had enough of that in their life already. Greater Winnerwood does not offer this luxury. Instead, treating their animals with little respect or care. There was a truck that picked up meat from all these Walmarts in the area that had expired to feed the animals. There's nothing wrong with it, man. I like my shit medium rare. Lobster tails and badass cuts of beef and shit. This hot docuseries quickly brought the attention of the world to the private ownership of animals and the mistreatment of these creatures. Due to the success of the series, the US government has recently issued a bill to help protect them, nicknamed the Tiger King Bill. The coming of this should bring a partial end to tiger and other animal abuse across the US, with the government now protecting them. The question still stands though, 
How will they go about protecting nearly 5,000 tigers that have only ever lived in captivity? The Tiger Who Came to Tea was perhaps my favourite book as a child. Its pages brought to life the beauty and wonder of these magnificent animals. I can only hope to one day read the story to my own children without them asking me, Dad, what's a tiger?